Welcome back. Abby's house in Worcester is celebrating 40 years in the community. Today, our Catherine Andrioli spoke with the founder about the difference the organization has made in thousands of women's lives. It's been 40 years since Abby's House in Worcester first opened their doors to women in the community, seeking to rebuild their lives torn apart by substance abuse, mental health issues, and domestic violence. I was serving on a committee that was looking into the uh, fact that homeless women were on the streets of Worcester. Annette Rafferty founded Abby's House to give women with and without children a place of refuge and a chance to rebuild. More than three decades later, Abby's House is celebrating 40 years and has changed the lives of thousands of women who have walked through their doors. And over the 40 years, more than 13,000 that we have come through. A woman we interviewed off camera says she was homeless before coming to Abby's House six years ago. Since then, she says the organization has helped her get on her feet and has made a tremendous impact on her life. I spent a lot of years in a group home because of my mental health issues. A woman identified as Jane Doe for privacy reasons says she came to Abby's house six years ago. She says she has received support from other women who went through similar experiences. A lot of us have been homeless, so we have things in common. Maybe it's drug use or alcohol use. Jane says Abby's house has provided her with a fresh start. She now works a part-time job, receives counseling services, and is working on getting a place of her own. And I just got a little part-time job, so I've been doing that since July. This place has uh, been like a godsend. Abby's house is self-funded, meaning they don't rely on the government for funding, allowing them to make their own unique approach to helping women during their 40 years in the Worcester community. Abby's house continues, as it has in the past, to listen to women and their needs and have the courage to respond to those needs as best we can. As long as there's a need here, we're committed to being here for the women who need us. In Worcester, Catherine Andrioli, Worcester News.